Hey friends, this is Quest and Current, and what I have for you today are those two really interesting USB-C cables. And they're not regular USB-C cables, but they're USB-C to barrel check. And one of them is a USB-C to mail barrel check. So it has this USB-C connector in one end and this 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter barrel check on the other. And the second cable that I also bought along has the USB-C on one end and two barrel sockets on the other end. So theoretically we should be able to connect them together like this and form a really long USB-C cable with a switch in the middle and even have a second output for a second USB-C cable. The question is now, is this a good idea or not? And can I charge my phone with this? Or can I charge any other kind of device with it? Or should we just leave it be? Before we start with that, I want to make sure that you know that we now have a uh, YouTube Premium membership for $2.99 a month. And if you want to see more like that, uh, you're happily invited to support the channel and we will have giveaways and early access to videos. With this out of the way, we're going to test both cables. And the question now is, due to the fact that both of them are not regular USB-C to USB-C cables uh, and just have this barrel check in the middle, which has two pins, the, the ground and V plus or supply voltage pin, there needs to be some additional circuitry inside the connector. This is due to the fact that with USB-C and cables, we need to be able to distinguish sources from sinks. So we need to be able to know if I connect, for example, a USB-C connector to my phone, if the other end is another phone which cannot charge my phone, or if the other end is a charger which can charge my phone. So the USB-IF actually has um, made some way to, to distinguish those in a really easy manner. And this is done by having pull up or pull down resistors. And if I get this in focus, I hope to can, you can read it. Yeah, you should be able to read it. You have pull up resistors on sources. So you have two resistors, one connected to CC1 and one connected to CC2, pulling up to either 3.3 or 5 volts, indicating that this USB-C outlet is a source, so you can actually draw current from it. And on the other hand, you have a sink where you have Again, two resistors, one for, from CC1 and one for CC2, connected to ground, indicating that this device needs current and this device needs power to operate. And then in the middle, you have the cable, which has two um, pull down resistors and one CC line connected straight through to be able to distinguish the orientation of the USB-C plug due to the fact that it's reversible. With this really easy setup, we now know if a USB-C cable connected to a phone is a source or a sink. And due to the fact that this CC line required by the cable is definitely not connected in our DC barrel check due to the fact that it only features two connections and it would need a third at least for the CC line, the manufacturers of this cable had to decide if it's a source or a sink on this end. So they had to decide what this connector is actually appearing. And the same with this cable. And what I'm hoping for is that they decided that one of them is a source and one of them is a sink, that I can actually take current in from one of the cables and then supply it to the other one and actually charge my phone, charge my laptop, or at least, if not my laptop, then one of the really small devices that I have that I want to be able to turn off and on independently. Now, there's a really easy way to find out if those resistors are in there or not without having to nibble away the cable or having to do some complicated measurements. And we can also find out if this is just a simple cable with the pull down resistors or if there is some active electronics inside that request, for example, more than five volts. Um, it could be nine, it could be 12, it could be up to 48 volts or just a regular five volts. For this, we need a multimeter. The first thing is done really easily and I'm going to show you. I have a USB-C source here. In, in this case, it's a regular power bank and it is turned off right now. And if I connect one of the cables to it and it has the necessary pull down resistors to advertise itself as a sink, then the supply should turn itself on 
and immediately start to oh it, it already did so this advertises itself as a sync uh, because the usb power supply turned on because it recognized a cable being connected this is also one of the plus sides of usb-c connectors the power supply doesn't have to provide power at all times like it does with the usb-a connectors it can just watch for the cable being connected and then turn on and now uh, that we've not started drawing any current it turned itself off again because it got it went back to standby but the the second thing we can find out if there is just a pull down resistor or if it's active electronics requesting some higher voltage than 5 volts we can measure the output voltage of the dc barrel connector with a simple multimeter and the one i've got here is the one from eev block and actually thanks to dave for uh, building them and this is not sponsored in any way i paid for it full price but it is a great multimeter and if we connect it and turn on the power bank and we just measure the output voltage we can see that it's 5.12 volts so it's just a regular 5 volt output this means that there's no power negotiation going on and most certainly just one or two pull down resistors inside the connector now we can do the same with the second cable that, that i have over here and now i'm hoping that this one is a source cable so this one advertises itself as a current source because one of them is a sink and the other one is a source then i could actually charge my phone with it if i connect them in the right way around and if i connect it like this it should not light up at all uh, okay it lit up this means that this cable also is a sink this cable also it advertises itself as being one that draws power from the power supply and i'm quite sure that it also just outputs five volts but just to make sure um, i'm also going to measure that and let's make sure this is turned on and then take a look at the output voltage like this ah turned it off again great did i turn it on yeah so i did turn it on um, but it didn't stay on and if i take a look yeah it again is 5.12 volts which means that also this cable is just a regular 5 volt cable which is with, with its outputs directly connected to the dc barrel jacks and most certainly just through this uh, switch which by the way yeah is a regular lamp switch it's rated for 250 volts at uh, 2 amps or 125 volts at 3 amps so uh, this is a, a regular light switch that they, they used for this usb uh, lead now due to somewhat surprisingly to me at least reasons both of the cables that i've just shown you are sinks so if i connect them together like this that's actually not the way the manufacturer intended them to because now both of the connectors advertise themselves as sinks and if i connect both of them together to devices they will both try to sync current but they can actually not so they will short circuit each other and if I just connect one to a power source and one to a sink, it will, will actually not start charging my, my device. And I should theoretically be able to show that to you if I connect this one to the power bank and the other one to my phone. Um, then my phone should not be the one to, to start to charge. It should not char start charging. And I will put my hand on here so you don't read my notifications. And no. so. Did you see it? it 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 blinked once my phone blinked once to indicate that it has so something connected but it's not actually charging so yeah and now the power supply turned off by its own and the phone itself uh, left it at that so the phone detected a cable being connected but saw okay this is a sink that is being connected on the output here so i'm not going to charge from it so it just blinked shortly and, and then left it at that even though it could directly charge from a power bank because it's directly connected through just with this little barrel check in the middle this means that even though it is quite interesting to have USB-C to other kinds of connectors especially ones that have that have switches in the middle or that have special functionality it oftentimes is not wise to use it like that or to use them like that because you don't know how they, they're going to behave you don't know if they're going to charge or not even if we connected them like this and my phone would have started charging any other phone probably would have not any other kind of device maybe would have worked for a while and then and then stopped so it's always wise to 
know what they are actually connecting to and to know what the USB cable is capable of doing and what it isn't. And with this, I just wanted to remind you of YouTube Premium. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving comments. Thanks for sharing the videos, especially um, the ones that shared them to some other sites help a lot. And with this, uh, thanks for, for listening. If you have any comments, just put them below and we we'll see each other next week.